in the previous video, we were exploring different filter settings. We saw there that while changing the genres which we were filtering on, we had to click on a button titled Apply Filter each time we wanted the chart to update. Now we will see in this demo how it's possible to actually make the user interface even more responsive. It's possible to have every change in the filter setting reflected directly into the user output. However, while using these, you should be careful that they can lead to a serious degradation of performance if they are used with underlying data which is on a remote source. In our examples in this course, this is not going to be a factor because we are making use of data which has been imported rather than accessed using something known as direct query. Direct query is a Power BI technique which is used to connect directly to data in some remote data source. Importing data as we've been doing in this course is the preferred option because it allows us to benefit from all of the Power BI optimizations. But in situations where direct query is used, such as with real-time data sources, some of the operations we will set up in this demo could lead to a performance hit. With that long preamble out of the way, let's go ahead and open up the file menu. So we click on the top left corner, that's the file menu. Of the options which open up, we choose options and settings. This in turn opens up yet another menu. We click on options. This opens up a dialog. We scroll to the bottom and click on query reduction. Query reduction settings are relevant with direct query. They reduce the number of needless interactions with an external data source. Here, we are focused on the filter settings. We can see that there are three filter settings there. The first is to instantly apply basic filter changes. The second, which is currently selected, is add apply buttons to all basic filters to apply changes when you are ready. This is why we have the apply filter button and we don't update the UI before that button is clicked. The third option is add a single apply button to the filter pane to apply changes at once. In other words, to preview. The difference between the second and third options lies in whether the apply button is per filter or common across the entire filter pane. Let's enable the third option and check it out. Of the three, this is the least responsive UI experience, but it's the most optimized if you happen to be using direct query to connect to an external or real-time data source. We are back in Power BI. We now go ahead and unselect the select all button and we now choose genres one by one. As we choose the various genres such as fighting and platform and racing, please note that we do not click on an apply filter button. 